Hello from my backyard. Thank you for coming back to yoga. We're a little bit late this week because of technical difficulties. Um, today's class theme is a very frequently used three word phrase. Be here now. We're going to work on that in our practice. We are here. We're in the period of the coronavirus, but more importantly, you're taking time on your mat to do yoga. There may be some distracting noises in this practice. We could have a couple of trains going by or a truck, uh, birds, and just let them be part of the background. It's part of the practice. All right, starting with the seated meditation, find a comfortable way to sit on your mat. Start releasing some of those worries and the busyness that you just left. Be here now. Close your eyes. To start out, feel your breath as it enters and exits your lungs. Follow your breath from your nose right into your alveoli. I am breathing in. I am breathing out. I am here now. Feel where your body meets the floor or the grass. Can you feel the air on your face, on your skin? Feel your spine lengthening up through the top of your head. I'm breathing in. I am breathing out. See if you can smell anything. I can smell newly cut grass. Maybe you'll smell muffins or something else. Bring your awareness back to your breath. What do you hear? Can you hear your own breath? Can you hear what's near you in the room where you sit? Maybe you hear that distant train whistle. Is there a taste that you can discern? Relax your forehead. Let your shoulders go. They don't need to hold up the weight of the world. And then blink your eyes open. Use your sense of sight. Maybe you're looking at the screen. Maybe you're smiling back at me. What do you see in your own environment? Okay, let's move right into Dolphin Prelude. There's a plane overhead. So come to your hands and knees. Come down onto your elbows. Take your knees out as wide as your mat and your, and your ankles too. Hug your 
upper arms together so you have a good shoulder width distance. And then release your hands, interlace them, and bring your entire forearm and fist down to the floor. Press into the floor. Let your head go. Relax your neck and start reaching your tailbone back, lengthening your hips away from your ribs, opening up your armpits, allowing your forehead to come down to the floor. Relax and be in this pose, just this pose, dolphin prelude. Lift your fists up over your head, and here we are. Find your breath. This is a pose that lengthens the uh, armpits. Your armpits are opening up. Your back is opening up. And the upper, the upper back and the shoulders are opening up. Come back to elbows and knees. Again, check your distance of your elbows. We'll move right into dolphin pose. Interlace your hands in front of you for more support. If you don't need more support, come out to parallel. Let your head come down. Turn your toes under and lift your hips up in the air for dolphin pose. You can keep your knees bent if you like. Lift your hips. Last week we worked on lengthening the side body by telescoping the hips off the off or the ribs off the hips. And this way you're taking the hips and the buttocks farther away from the ribs. Relax your neck. Find the foundation of your upper arms and palms. If you'd like more challenge, walk your two feet together to touching. And then with your next inhalation, lift your left leg and reach out with it and maybe take some of that weight off of your forearms. Bring that leg down to meet the other leg and take one good breath in dolphin pose. And then bring the other leg up, reaching long If this is too challenging, you can come down to your knees and still be in dolphin pose. Bring that leg down and let's have one final lovely breath in dolphin pose. Bringing your chest closer to your thighs. And then lower your knees, wide knees, and reach your hips back for child's pose. This is a pose of release. Just be in the pose. Relaxing your shoulders, your lower back. And then come up to seated. Cross your ankles behind you. Come back on to a seated position for ab work, elbow to knee. Lie down on your back. Bring your hands behind your head to cradle your head. Lift your elbows up so you can really feel that support so you're not using your neck muscles. Find your breath again. Come back to your practice. Come back to your breath. Return to I am here.
So lifting your feet up so that you have a right angle, knees right over the hips, flex your toes back, shins are parallel to the ceiling, big breath in, expand the ribs, pause your breath, draw your lower back down to touch the floor, exhale, reach out with the right leg and draw the left elbows to frame the left knee. Keep the left knee over the hip. You won't reach it with your elbows. Inhale, bring your legs back to the same position and leave your head up. Pause your breath. Curl your tailbone up. Exhale to the other side. Reaching out through the inner thigh of the left leg. Reach out. Inhale, return the feet. If this gets to be too much, you can always put your head down. Pause your breath. Bring your lower back down. Exhale. Back to the first side. Inhale, return your legs. Breathe in, pause your breath. Exhale, other side. Draw your hip points toward each other. Inhale, come back to the original position. Exhale, extend. We're going to stay for two breaths out here. Extend even more. Reach your inner heel out. Inhale, come back to position one. Big breath in. Make a really big breath. Expand the belly. Now, pause your breath. Adjust your back so the lower back's coming down. Exhale, reach the left leg out for two breaths. Are you resting your head and your hands so that you're not using your neck muscles? Reach out one more time. Inhale, bring your legs back. Bring your feet down. Release your head to the floor. Bring your hands out to the side. Have your feet touching each other and then allow your knees to just fall out. And here's a nice rest period. Being in goddess pose. Slow, smooth breath. Draw your knees together, roll over to one side. Let your head rest on the floor or the grass. Let your head stay heavy as you use your hands to come up so your head is nice and droopy. Coming back up to seated. And now we're going to stand and start our salutations. Come up to the front of your mat. Palms together. Mountain pose. How is it to be a mountain? Steady, strong, resting. Breathe in. Exhale, release your hands. Inhale, arms overhead. Spread your toes out, your fingers out, nice and strong. Bend your knees. Exhale, forward bend. Let your neck go. Inhale, pick up your right knee. Bring it back behind you onto the top of that foot. And continuing that inhalation, you're just going to come up with opening up the front side of the body into Anjanasana, the pose of offering, and always, always smile in this pose. Fingertips back down to the floor, lift the back knee, step back to plank. Inhale, bring your knees down. Pull your heart forward in half plank. Exhale, slowly come down, drawing the shoulders away from the ear, shoulder blades together, all the way down to the bottom. Elbows under your shoulders. Inhale, Sphinx Pose. So reach back with your feet and use the mat to pull yourself forward and shoulders down. Hands back under your shoulders, lift into Downward Dog. Exhale. Bring your right foot forward, 
left knee down, Andhyanasana. Another smile. Be in Andhyanasana. Fingertips down. Exhale, step forward to forward bend. Coming up with a nice straight back, but a relaxed neck all the way to the top. Exhale. Other side, inhale. Breathe out, forward bend. Left knee back, Anjanasana, inhale. Exhale, plank. Oh, excuse me, exhale, bring that foot forward to forward bend, I'm sorry. Inhale, come up. Exhale. I know I missed on that side, let's do it again. Breathing in. Forward bend. Left knee back, breathing in. Plank. Top plank. Breathe out as you come down. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward on Janasana. Now exhale forward bend. Stay in forward bend for a few breaths. Bend your knees. Bring your ribs right down on your thighs. Wiggle your butt around a little bit. Let your head go. Now straighten one leg a little bit, then the other. And then with an inhalation, roll right up to arms overhead. Exhale, finish. Let's move right into a B salutation. How many minutes are we in? How many minutes? Okay. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward bend. Step one foot back and then the other into plank. If you're ready for chaturanga, come down, otherwise use your knees. Locust pose. Bring your palms against your hips. Reach out with your legs and with an inhalation, lift your legs and your chest. Keep looking down so the back of your neck is long. Palms back on your shoulders. Downward facing dog. Bring your left foot forward and come up to a star pose, which is two straight legs. Look down at your left foot. Is it pointing straight forward? Turn the back foot in a little bit and make nice strong legs. Arms out to the side, reaching away from each other. Five pointed star. Feeling each of the points. Nice strong legs reaching down into the earth. Left fingertips and right fingertips reaching away from each other. And then of course the head is the fifth point. Find this pose and find your breath. Turn your palms forward. And now just reach one arm down and the other up. Maybe looking up at that left thumb. Find the extension. Come back up. Bring your left hand right into the left hip crease and push that hip over. You can bring the right hand onto your hip. Push it over to the right side so you get nice and long in the side body. Pretend there's a wall behind you and you're straight flat against the wall. Both legs strong. And you can bring that right arm up. And let the left hand just come down. It might not come down to the floor. That's okay. Triangle pose. Let your neck go. Use this upper hand to bring yourself up. And now, Valiant Warrior. So we start with our arms out like this. Bend the front knee for a Warrior Two pose. And then you can bring the right hand down to wherever it lands. And reach 
reach this whole left side open and valiant warrior windmill your arms up and around fingertips on either side of your front foot and then step that back foot forward a little bit for pyramid pose you can leave this front knee bent your hamstrings might be tight from running and walking living so can you even up your hips so that i could put my cup of tea on its saucer right on your sacrum and it wouldn't tip over let your head go you may start to slowly straighten the front leg and you may not find your breath bend your front knee step back to downward dog inhale plank exhale chaturanga inhale locust pose again reach with those fingers back make your back long exhale down dog now bring your right foot forward and come up into this star pose i'm going to turn around reaching out the five points of the star up in the sky, be a star. Find this pose. Maybe you're getting ready to shoot an arrow up there into the clouds. And then come back to star pose. Bring your right hand to your hip this time to the hip crease. Push it in. Push it back. Get long in the side body. Telescope your ribs up and away from the hips. Open your heart a little bit to the sky. And then your left arm can come up. And your right hand can come down. Triangle pose. Upa Vista, or Utita Trikonasana. Utita means extended. So find the extension in this pose. You don't need to find the floor with your hand. You just find the extension of your body. And let your neck go. Windmill around to the front leg again. And step forward to forward bend. Hands on your thighs come halfway up, half forward bend. Exhale, forward bend. Bend your knees, lower your hips down into a, a semi squat. And then let's move right up into chair again. Push down with your heels into the floor as you come all the way up to Mountain Pose and Namaste. And release your hands into Mountain Pose. Close your eyes. Find a rest in Mountain Pose. Okay, open your eyes. Okay, this is going to be an exercise in my bravery that on this very uneven terrain, we're going to do tree pose. If you were with us last week, we had a chair, I mean not chair pose, tree pose. We had a chair in front of us and we were holding onto the chair. Uh, you were welcome to use a chair. I'm going to try it without the chair. So start in mountain. The lengthening of the ribs off the hips is really important to your balance in tree pose. Bend the left knee. Come back into the center here. Turn the left toes out. You can stay here for your tree pose. Your tree pose can look like this. You can use the kickstand of your left foot or you can bring that foot up to somewhere on your leg, not right by your knee. Place your left hand on the thigh and push it down as you get really long in the torso. Use that push to get long. And maybe both arms will come up. Lengthen the torso. Can you smile and can you breathe? Palms together at the center of your heart. And coming out of that tree pose, mountain.
What feels tense right now? Is it your brain uh, from judging yourself in mountain or being so proud of yourself in tree? Let's do the other side. Lift the right ankle. Find that center line like the zipper. Turn the knee out. And remember, this could be your tree right now. You could have this position with a little extra support. Or you can lift that leg up, that foot up. And I like to push down on the upper thigh as I reach up and find that nice length. Palms together. Smile. Release to mountain. I have a new camera person today because Arnica first filmed me two days ago and the sounds were so crazy and now we have this thing called a dead cat. It's a, a special mic that Rod Kincaid brought and he is the filmer so let's hope he can dampen down the outside noise because I wanted to do one outside practice. All right, let me see what we've got here. Come down to your hands and knees and let's do some cat and cow. First start in tabletop. Draw your belly in, but keep nice and straight. Draw the head of the arm bones into the shoulder joint. Relax your neck. Exhale. Inhale, drop your belly. Lift your butt up. Bring your heart forward. Keep the back of the neck long. Exhale, arch into cat. Inhale, open up into cow pose. <laughs> Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Smooth and undulating, good for the spine. Exhale, cat. Let's stay in cat. Relax your cat. Loosen it up a little bit. Feel the roundness of the back of your spine. Move your head back and forth. And then sit back on your heels. Come to seated, both legs out in front. Flex your feet back, nice strong legs, as though I brought a big encyclopedia and it was right there. It could be the floor. And breathe, telescoping the ribs. Can you be here now? Are you still with your practice? We're nearing the end. Okay, bend your left knee. Bring your foot in. It doesn't need to be in very far, but it can be as far as you like. And then let the left knee come out. And find that position that we had in staff pose before so you're still really nice and tall. Bring your left hand over to your right, outside of your right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale and get long. Keep that right leg strong. And then slowly and gently coming into a twist to the right. I'm looking at a squirrel in the bird bath. <laughs> He's kind of doing downward squirrel to reach the water. Inhale, come on back. Bring your fingertips to your knee or to the floor. I've got grass to grip onto. You could just grip on with your cat paws. Inhale and lengthen, get really tall. Exhale, come gently into an arched cat. Inhale, pull your heart forward again. Exhale, cat. Inhale, get long. Stay long. Come into this forward bend. It's called Janu Shirshasana. And then just come into the pose and we'll stay here. Lengthen through the back of your neck. Feel the evenness of your, of your hips. Breathe into where you feel the sensation of this pose. out through the ball of the big toe and you might get the inner uh, 
inner muscles of your back of your leg. And then with one inhalation, get nice and long again. And come on up to seated. Let's move into Upavista Konasana. So the right leg comes out, the left leg comes out. We've got a nice V here. We're getting nice and tall again. Working the same leg, we'll take the right hand to the inside of the right knee and twist your, your chest over to look out to the left. I know I tried doing left and right the way I should and I got so mixed up that I'm just using it my way. Flex your feet back and then come into a side bend. Bring that left hand behind you so that you can open up the collarbones. Let the neck go. We didn't do neck release, I forgot. You can do it now. And if you'd like to bring that left arm up and over at any angle so you can reach through those left ribs, let your neck go, coming into the side bend. Coming out the same way, reaching the left arm up and out. And instead of using your neck, use your hand to bring yourself up and you can assist your head coming up. There you go. Jana Shirshasan on the other side. So now my left leg is straight out and I've got it so straight I could be in tree if we turn the world this way. Right knee is bent and coming in, tucking in. It can be anywhere. It could be here if that feels good to you. Find what your body needs. Yoga should not be painful. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, twist to the other side, the left side now. Keep lengthening your spine every time you breathe in. And in order not to twist the neck, try keeping your chin right above your breastbone so we're not taking the twist in the neck, we're using the area right behind the heart. With an inhalation, come back to straight forward, get tall, and now we'll start our forward bend. So start it slowly by putting your fingertips down and bringing your heart forward. You might even come into a little bit of a back bend, that's fine. Draw your tailbone back toward the back. Exhale, roll down. Head also, let's go. Inhale, come on up again. Exhale, release. One more time, reaching your heart forward. And here we go. Exhale, release to your forward bend. Find that slow, deep breathing. Do you feel your left ribs and your right ribs evenly extended? Pedal to the middle, push out with the left big toe mound. Yeah. Coming up, we're going to draw our heart forward and then come on up to seated again. For Upavisa Konasana, wide angle forward bend, seated. So right leg comes out, left leg comes out. I like to make my fists and lift my butt up and come a little bit farther forward. I just love that feeling. Flex your toes back. Make sure your kneecaps are looking right up. Okay, now twist to the left this time. Bring your left hand in, and to the right, I'm sorry. Left hand to the inside of the left knee. Get tall. Let's take the right hand behind us from the start here. Okay, and then start coming into the side bend. So your left ribs are coming down closer to your left thigh. And I'm trying to let my neck go. Open your heart to that beautiful blue sky today. Maybe you're watching it when it's a rainy sky. That's just as beautiful. And then bring your arm up. And extend. Smile.
soften up the pose a little bit. You might be overexerting. Let your body find its own way. Yeah, let your head go. With your next inhalation, sweep that right arm up, fingers extended. Let the neck be loose and the head be heavy as you use that arm to bring you up. Right at the very end, you can have the assist of your hand on your cheek. There you go. We're going to have about a three minute yin yoga in honor of Therese uh, in diamond pose. This is the, the end of the practice. You should be warming down so don't make it hard. I like to support my knees underneath, bring my heels and feet together. It can be way out here. That might feel good. You might think you want to be in here, but you can always adjust. So start by getting really tall. And then come forward. You can hold on to your ankles. I like to massage my arches and come into a nice, relaxed forward bend. Let your head go. We'll hold this pose for a while, so make it easy. Can you be here now in this pose? Can you discover some places that you can release that are holding on because your body is trying to protect itself? Gain the trust of your body. Release your shoulders. They don't need to do any work in this pose. Wobble your head back and forth and let your neck go. Find your breath even with your belly compressed. You can find your good deep breathing. How about your jaw? Can your jaw release? With your next in-breath, come slowly up. We'll do happy baby now, and then we'll move into Shavasana. Coming onto your back. Bring your knees right to your chest and, and hug and rock and roll around a little bit. Yeah, flex those feet back. And then you can grab onto your feet. I like to have my knee, my elbows inside my knees and pull down, yeah. Lowering one knee and the other so you're rocking back and forth. You can do some little happy baby things if you like. Just whatever feels kind of fun. And then just find the calmness of a normal, old, happy baby. Find your smile. Stay with your yoga. Be here now. Baba Ram Das. I think he might have started it all. Legs straight up in the air for a nice inversion. Flex your toes back and then point them up. Flex and point. Rotate your ankles around in one direction. Now try the other direction. And bring your legs down to your chosen posture for Shavasana. If your back is twingy, I like to take my feet out wide to the mat 
and rest my knees against each other, or you might want to be in full on Shavasana. Practice being here now in Shavasana pose. Take a rest. Let your legs be heavy. Allow your arms to find gravity. Relax your breath. Today I wrote a, a poem, I mean, I brought a poem that I wrote a couple of winters ago, or maybe last winter. It's called Walking Meditation. Turn around. Look behind you at your actions, at yesterday's self. You won't get very far walking that way the toes of your boots making backward prints in the snow. Say these words, I am here. Be here, be now, breathe. See what you could have missed. Hoarfrost has filigreed the maple's bare branches. Exquisite. Oops. Now catch yourself looking forward, rushing into what's next. Appointments, eggplant, parmesan, your novel's last pages. Say these three words, I am here. Become your finest friend. Smile at that dog trotting beside you. Begin to deepen your breath. Come slowly out of Shavasana. We need Shavasana in this time. Rock your head gently from side to side. Bring movement into your fingers and toes. Now give yourselves big heartfelt hugs as you draw your knees to your chest and a good squeeze. Maybe roll around on that lower back. Release your hands, roll to one side. Use your strong arms and not your neck to come up to seated. Bring in your palms together. 
I want to thank Rob for bringing his equipment to my yard. And thank you for watching. Hopefully this class has worked for you. May the benefits of this practice be extended unto others. Namaste.